Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make your Carla Gerard inspired village. First, I'm going to show you how to make a 2D house. All you need to do is draw a triangle and then a square right underneath. I'm sure you've drawn a house like this before. And then add a door and some windows. Next, I'm going to show you how to make a 3D house. This is going to be a little bit more challenging. We're going to start our, ho our house off in the same way, just a triangle and then a square. And then we're going to add some lines. I'm going to add a diagonal line at the top of my triangle, a diagonal line at the bottom of my triangle, and then a diagonal line at the bottom of my square, and then I'm going to connect those all together. Diagonal line for the roof, and then I'm just going to do a straight line here for the side of my house. I'm going to add some more details like doors and windows, and then I'm also going to add some lines and designs to make my house appear more interesting. So I'm going to add a wavy line here. You could add some circles. You could add different shapes. You could add different types of lines, do a checkerboard pattern. It's up to you on how you would like to decorate your houses. If you would like to draw a house going in the opposite direction, you would just start off the process in the same way, but then draw the lines in the opposite direction. Now if you would like to start off your drawing in pencil first and then trace over it with Sharpie or marker, that is perfectly fine. If you would just like to start off in Sharpie, go for it. Um, really, it's up to you. I'm going to fill up my paper with houses and then I'll come back and show you how I'm coloring it. So I'm filling in my houses with crayon because I'm going to add watercolor to it afterwards. I'm not filling in my houses completely, I'm just filling it in as I would like. And you can use whatever materials you want, you don't have to use crayon. Like I said, I'm using crayon because I'm going to add watercolor. Now I'm just taking my watercolor, I'm adding some water on part of my paper and then I'm going to go over it with the paint. If you are choosing to do watercolor, I would only keep your watercolor in certain sections. I would not try to mix a bunch of colors together, otherwise it's going to look a little bit muddy, and we don't want that. And if you don't have watercolor, once again, you can just use whatever materials you want to finish your background. Here's what my project looks like when it's all finished. I hope you have lots of fun today.